I've always thought hats were um, something to enhance the wear and to beautify the wear. And Philip Tracy's most ardent fan is devoted friend Isabella Blow. A London exhibition at the Design Museum spotlighted their 13-year friendship. The milliner was speechless when asked to describe Isabella. Have you met Isabella? Okay, how should I start? What a big question. She breathes life into, um, into the hats. She wears hats like she's not really wearing a hat at all, which is really her magic. I think anyone can find a husband if they wear a Philip Tracy hat. <laughs> Many of these hats sort of reflect elements of their friendship or have been very much inspired by Isabella's background. The castle hat, the inspiration came very much from Isabella's um, family um, castle in Cheshire. Isabella, she's fantastic and I absolutely love her, but she can be like a nagging housewife when she gets something into her head, so she decided I was going to make a castle. The ship here in this um, case was, was inspired by a book that Isabella gave to Philip as a present. It's just a, a poetic, kind of romantic image. The pumpkin, an absolutely incredible hat, curled orange ostrich feathers. Um, Isabella wore this to Alexander McQueen's fashion show. The arrows of love hat, which Isabella wore to her sister-in-law's wedding. You know, when she sort of got to the cathedral, you know, people nearly freaked out because this woman just looked so mad. <laughs> the shocking pink Roswell hat, that was inspired by the UFO sightings in, um, at Roswell in New Mexico in July 1947. Um, one of Isabella's favourites. On face value, people think she's crazy, but she's probably the least crazy person I know. A book with drawings by Hilary Knight of Eloise fame also depicts Isabella's creative vim along with photos of her in Tracy's amazing hats. I'm just trying to show people how fantastic a hat can be.